Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're going to mix a banana boulevardier. So the banana boulevardier is a weird combination. I found it on Default Guide. It was created sometimes 2016 at the Anvil and Refuge Bar in Houston. And the impulse to experiment with a banana cocktail came from me finding this bottle in my father's bar. But I will tell you more about this bottle later on. Now let's get down to mixing. So I'm going to build our cocktail in this mixing glass. I'm going to start with 15 milliliters of creme de banana. Then I'm going to go on with 15 milliliters of uh, bitter. You could use Campari. I have this select, which is really interesting. I found out it's a really Italian thing. It's from Venezia or Venice. And uh, it's a bit like a Campari, but with more citrus, I think, and a bit less spice. And I think it should work out well in this cocktail. So 15 milliliters of this. Then we go on with uh, 30 milliliters of red vermouth. In this case, I have uh, Del Professore Rosso. I tried before Del Professore Classico. This is Rosso. And I'm not quite sure what's the difference, but there should be some. And then we finish with 30 milliliters of bourbon. I have this uh, bullet bourbon, which uh, I don't have in Japan. It's uh, really good. We tried classic Kentucky straight bourbon, vanilla, spices, your usual affair, but done well. It's pretty good. It comes at how many percentage of alcohol? 45% straight bourbon whiskey. Let's add some ice in our mixing vessel. And let's give it a good stir. And while I give it a good stir, I'm gonna tell you a bit more about this creme de bonance by Bose. So, my grandfather used to own a bar in the main square of my hometown. And this bar closed in 1965. This bottle was left with this much creme de banan in the ownership of my father. And I found it there in the bar and I was like, well, can we open it? Can we even try? Is it still gonna be drinkable? And so I peeled off the cap, which was sealed shut by all the rust and uh, sugars and I had to tear it off like a steel can and what I found out is that after filtering it the creme de banana lost all the alcohol he had but it still retained a fairly good vanilla and banana flavor which I think should serve us right creme de banana might be at the bottom of the priority from my bar right now so i think uh, this should work out just fine for us to try out this interesting cocktail mm. so i'm gonna add some rice in this uh, old-fashioned kind of glass yeah something like that let's strain our cocktail over ice I should really finish this with uh, some orange peel but guess what my mom used the orange yesterday afternoon so I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and use a lemon peel that smells pretty good maybe not perfectly appropriate but I guess it's gonna work out and there you go, a banana boulevardier done with some almost 60 year old 
crème de banane, which probably lost all the alcohol, but I think, uh, let's see. Nothing on the smell, just the lemon. Let's see, on the taste. Mmm, <laughs> this is really good actually. It's interesting. I think it's just adding a touch of the sweetness and vanilla to the classic Boulevardier, but he also adds a layer of flavor, this banana liqueur, which smoothens out the edges of the otherwise bit sharp Boulevardier. I must say I also use the Select, which is also a bit smoother and easier on the palate than a normal Campari, so maybe that also plays a part, but this is a pretty excellent drink. It's nice, it's really nice. Is this gonna force me to buy some creme de banane, even in Japan? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Everything you want to do, do it. And hopefully, I will see you next time. Cheers. Mm. Goes down really easy. Nice.